So friends, I know this is a very unusual video for me. This is a young lady named Lauren Agee. She was 21 years old when we believed that she was murdered. My daughter went to the same high school. They were almost the same age. Lauren's birthday was 10 days after my daughter's birthday in 1993. Sadly, she passed away when she was 21 years old. We believe that she was murdered. I believe she was murdered. This lady right here, Sheila Wysocki, she believes she was murdered. She's a private investigator. I started listening to this podcast of Sheila Wysocki because... Uh, this girl was from the town that we live in, Hendersonville, Tennessee. This photo was taken the night before or the day before she was found dead. I'll show you where she was found at, and then I'm going to take you to this place and fly the glory out there to kind of give you an overview. Where the beginning of the arrow is, is where this photo was taken at. Where she was found is where the arrow points to. And then this is a photo of the Eno that they were in in the other photo, looking back towards the marina. Now, I'm going to go to the marina and go out and fly the glory and just kind of show you around. That's what this video is about. If you want to know the rest of the story, look up Sheila Wysocki. I will put a link to her podcast down in the description area of this video. Lastly, I believe in a thing called geographic forensics. And what that means is you go to a place and you put your eyes on it. And that helps you to unravel some of the clues. So some of you amateur uh, detectives, if you will, if you're listening to Sheila Wysocki, you're reading the stories, you're finding the clues, Maybe this audio and this visual will help you to understand it better and maybe give some people some clues so we can figure out what happened. Hello? This car's sitting here. It's still warm. So it didn't happen too long ago. I don't see anybody here. So we're driving. I was in Smithville and now I'm headed to the marina where the Lauren Agee stuff happened at where Fish Lips is. If you've heard the podcast, you know what I'm talking about. So this is the entrance to it. Pates Ford Marina, Fish Lips Resort and Grill. This looks full. A lot of folks. Let's go see. So I'm just getting here and I'm kind of getting the lay of the land. Right over there is where they were staying. You can see the the ledge is over there. So Fish Lips is that place, I believe, there. And they were staying on those cliffs over there. Her body was found on the other side in the second cove. I don't see any little boats here. So I think this is gonna be fish lips. Over there is the, what they call the cliffs. And I'm looking at this water to see how much movement there is. 
and you can see of course it's on the other side of the buoys but you can see that the water is pretty much stagnant it's basically the water sitting still so those beer bottles just sit around they don't move around there's a dead fish a big fish right there some sort So this right here is fish lips. This is the little grill. And when the police came, they mentioned that there was a dock on the other side that they came to or a landing. That's what they're talking about, that ramp over there. So there's the cliff, that's the place that they were staying. She was found around that second cove over on that side. But they were staying up there. So how do you, in the world do you even get up there? Well, there's a rope. If you look, there's a rope right there. See the rope? So I think they were putting the canoe there, climbing up. But you can see now, I don't know if they're moving water right now or not, but you see that piece of wood right there, not really moving. And I believe that they said if they were opening the dam that the water would go that way. Or it would, I, I, can't, I don't see any water movement really. So I don't know which direction it would go. I am parked way up there. You can see the gray ghost right there. You can see it's kind of stormy looking. But they slept up there. I'm even closer now. I'm going to zoom in. I didn't bring a boat with me, but you can see a rope. It's like a rope tied right there. Hey guys, how are y'all? Yes sir, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you. So I would say that they would put the canoe here. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy a canoe or a something to be able to get over there. Hey there. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Do you know, I know the Lauren Agee stuff happened right here. Was the boat that they were coming to, was it in this slip or would it have been over there? Or? It wasn't either of these right here. Yeah, yeah. Because I know there was one that they were coming to, but I don't know where it was or which one. Are you talking about the girl? Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I think they would take the canoe and put it and stop well, right there at the bottom of the... We weren't up here at that time, yeah. but I think they had, um, Jean's daughter was on the thing, but she said if they had been down and fished it, yeah. and they walked back, I think the police even had it. Yeah. They went back, and she didn't hear anything else. Yeah. But they did go down this way. Yeah. To get to the lake. Yeah. Because they were saying they were taking a canoe back and forth to somebody on a houseboat. I just didn't know where the boat would be. It must be further up. Yeah, it may be, or they may have tied Yeah, yeah, you never know. Yeah. This is the closest, yes. the closest thing, right. so. And back then, I think we were even farther back. Yeah. Uh, about eight boats down. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it was, so it was, we they've close. added all this. Okay. Yeah, so we were closer to that at that time. I see. And like two years before, there'd been two guys who had been to the Yeah. Really? Pulled up on the dock. Yeah. Because they asked us, we were here then. Yeah. And they asked us if they could plug their Yeah, phones in. in. Yeah. That's yeah. something. It looks pretty scary up there. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I still think there's something up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think there's definitely something up. Yeah. I just wanted to come out here and put my eyes on it. Yeah. Great to see you. Oh, is there? Yeah, you can see it. Not all the time. Last thing of rocks there, mm -hmm. it's up on that, not this one, oh, before it goes down like that, because I think it was on this side. Okay, I'm going to walk down there and see yeah, if I can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I'm not sure if you can or not. Okay, thank you. So maybe I can see it in this video. I can't visibly see it from here, but now it's really grown up up there too. Unless she's talking about way up there. But there's an example. You see those boats are coming by. You see that bottle's really barely moving. It is moving, but barely. Water seems to be going that way. But you can see the water back there on the way to the cove. It's even stagnant looking. You see it's got that sheen on top of it. Like it's not moving at all. So you see how the trees How much higher? She's saying, you see how the trees are in the water? The water's a lot higher than it normally is. And she said that they can tell. But you can see that bottle is still sitting out there. And if she fell off the cliff, she'd have fallen off on this side and had to float a long ways. So she's also saying that the dock, you see how it's white there and these tiles are darker? This went that way. So it was different than it is now back then and she's saying that the boats would have actually been closer to there than they are now so this is a different perspective of it that's where they would have got in and it'd be up in there She's saying the cross is, I believe she's saying right there, but this would have stuck further this way and been closer. Better get out of here before it pours on me. So this is fish lips. You can see where it is. 
sitting here. Vehicles are parked up there. The cliffs are over on the other side over there.
And for the record, I'm at Pates Ford and I have no service. I'm on AT&T. They were right over there. So I hope this gives some of you sleuths a little more information, a little bit of geographic forensics, if you will. Study this, friends. Maybe one of us can figure it out. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.